Today we're taking you to an epic, otherworldly stretch of road in County Antrim, Northern Ireland. The dark hedges lay on Brega Road between Ballinlee and Ballykeever Roads. We followed the signs and soon found the public parking area, located just off Ballinlee Road. The trail we followed led us through a beautiful wooded area. We ended up at Grace Hill House, the original manor house of this estate. We continued down to Brega Road. You can see large rocks in the foreground, which closed it off to traffic. Brega Road was the original entrance road to Grace Hill Manor, which was named after Grace Lind, the wife of owner James Stewart. In 1775, Stewart planted about 150 beech trees lining each side of the road to make an impressive entrance to his estate. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, you might recognize this as the setting for The King's Road. Today, after 250 years, less than 90 of the original trees survive. There are ghost stories about the Grey Lady who wanders among the trees only to disappear at the end of the road. Can you hear all the birds? It's like a enchanted fairy tale forest, waiting for the Wicked Witch to pop out. We'd arrived early in the morning, so we had the place almost to ourselves. We wandered down among the trees to the end of Brega Road. There we saw one of the markers for the HBO TV show. So throughout Ireland and Northern Ireland, you'll see these markers showing where Game of Thrones was shot. This is the one for the Dark Hedges. At this point, we turned around and headed back toward the manor house, along these ancient walls. This place had a mystical, otherworldly sense about it. Where else in the Emerald Isle have you gotten that sense? Leave us a note in the comments. We'd walked the road about six-tenths of a mile, or one kilometer. Then we turned and went back toward the manor house to get a look at it from the other point of view. The tree-lined road, the close to almost all vehicles, remains open to the public on foot.
having returned through the dark hedges, through what was the original entrance to Grace Hill House, we could see how it was impressive indeed. So this is the manor house on the estate of the man who planted the dark hedges. Looks like you're a million miles from anywhere, but actually there's a golf course right here. After the Game of Thrones episode aired, the Dark Hedges became a world-renowned landmark and popular tourist attraction. While it's great that so many people discovered this amazing place, it had its downside. In 2016, graffiti, overcrowding, and cars parking on the ground over the tree's shallow root system was damaging the Dark Hedges. In order to protect the trees, the road was closed to all but emergency vehicles and agricultural vehicles with certain special permission. Violations carry a hefty 1,000 pound or 1,200 US dollar fine. 2016 was a tough year for the hedges. Mother Nature had taken her toll as well, with Storm Gertrude felling two of the trees. The wood from them was used to create 10 intricately carved doors with emblems and images from the episodes of Game of Thrones. The doors were then placed in a variety of pubs, restaurants, B&Bs, and hotels in Northern Ireland. In fact, Grace Hill House holds door number seven, featuring the three-eyed raven and a wink and a nod to the dark hedges in a beech leaf inside the crown. We really enjoyed our time at the dark hedges, but it was time to fly. Next week, join us as we go to Carica Reed Rope Bridge. If you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe? And if you're already a subscriber, thanks so much for watching our videos and subscribing. Give us a thumbs up and a like, and we'll see you next week.